Thank you very much. Est-ce que tout le monde m'entend? Everybody is hearing me. It's okay with the micro. Okay, perfect. So, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, thank very uh, warmly all the organization for inviting me uh, to present to you the situation of France toward surrogacy. You will excuse my English because it's, my English is not very good, but I uh, write a draft so you can find everything in my draft on the website of the conference. Um, I would like to uh, recall to you the legal status of surrogacy in France, first of, first of all, and after I will uh, explain to you, I will try to explain to you its consequences. As you certainly know, the legal status of surrogacy in France is very simple. It's forbidden, totally forbidden. Surrogacy was developed in the, 19, in, the 80s, uh, in the 80s and was used at the beginning by, by the heterosexual couples. In 1989, the Cour de Cassation say stop in a very uh, important decision. Five years later, in 1994, the, the legislature decide to formalize the, uh, the, the interdiction. So, uh, in French law, in, the, in, in French law, for one part, uh, the, the law has established the principle of the nullity of the surrogacy contract. So, if you uh, would like to uh, contract a surrogacy arrangement in France, it's completely nul, nul, uh, nul. Uh, uh, it's uh, co void, void. void, voilà, void, okay, thank you, thank you. So, it's not, a, it's not an option. Um, in the other hand, uh, the law, the French law has defined a criminal offense for um, two situations. First situation, it is the incitement to abandon a child, so it's a criminal offense, and second situation, it's uh, concerned the intermediary offense between the intended parent and the surrogate. So, what is the consequences of this law? French couple go abroad and get child through surrogacy in different country. They come back to France and the uh, difficulty start for them. And, um, it's the point where I interview, and uh, I, I'm, I'm dealing with that, so I'm helping them to, uh, to, to get uh, uh, a legal status for their, for their children. In a very short way, what can we say? What can I say? Four points. First point, uh, in French law, and it's very, very important, the birth certificate, the BC, establish the parentage, that the family identity of the child. Even if it's a foreign BC, it could be a foreign BC. On the legal point of view, for French law, uh, we don't care uh, of the genetic issue. It's very important because I know that in many countries, the genetic issue is very important. But for the French law, if we are on the legal point of view, we don't care of that. We only look at who is mentioned on the BC. It's very important, so it's first point. Second point, normally, if there is no surrogacy, the French authority recognize the foreign BC. Very important, if there is a French child who get who, uh, born abroad, he will have a birth certificate, and this birth certificate will be recognized by the French authorities. But third point, and it's the point where there is a trouble, French administ administration choose to treat BC suspected of surrogacy different from the other without any legal basis. It's very important to understand this point. 
It's not a legal basis. It's a moral basis, if, you, if, you, if I can explain a little bit. So the consequences of that is lawyer must go through legal proceeding which are not necessary for other children born, born in foreign country. Uh, we requesting the cancellation of the refusal of the passport. We request an executor from a judge, or sometimes we are going before the European Human Court in order to, regular, to regularize the civil state status of these of this children born through surrogacy. It's easier for me to read when I am alone than when I am in front of you. Usually I never read, but I'm not so fluent, so I must read a little bit. So, first, parentage is established by the foreign birth certificate. As you know, uh, if we are, uh, when, when, you, when we have a heterosexual couple, usually every country put on the BC the intended parent in the United States, in, Re in uh, Ukraine, in uh, India. So we have a BC with the uh, intended parent. And they can both be biologic parents or only one or none of them. But for French uh, law, it doesn't matter. For gay couple, we have three situations. First situation, we will have the father and the surrogate on the BC. As you, can, as you know, use, usually you do it in the United States, but not everywhere. Second situation, we can have the father alone on the BC. Uh, in the past, it was possible in India, for example. It's possible also in the United States. And, second, and third situation, uh, we can have the two fathers on the uh, uh, on the birth certificate. So, in all cases, in all, in all, in, in all, uh, in, in all these cases, the French legal principle is that the foreign birth certificate establish the parentage toward the person who are mentioned on the on the BC. So it's very important. The only um, the only uh, duty is that this foreign BC must be apostillé legalized, la postille, it's very simple formality. And uh, it, it, it must be translated because uh, the French administration do not understand English as me, and <laughs> or <laughs> India or everything. Okay, so, 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 uh, Wilma told me that I, I have only five minutes more. So, 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 so I will cut my, my, <laughs> my, 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 uh, my, my speech. Uh, I, I just want to say that I, I, won't, I won't go uh, on the detail of uh, what is the battle of the family mention because they are here, so they will explain to you how it was very difficult to fight to get the, tran the, the transcription of the birth certificate of their child. You know that, you heard of the uh, decision from the European Court, uh, la, la Remenson 2014, La Bassé, Foulon Bouvet in 2016, Labori in 2017. So, um, what is the position of the Cour de Cassation in France? The Cour de Cassation uh, has a very strange position because the Cour de Cassation, since July 2017, decide that we can have the transcription. The transcription. The transcription is it's a copy of the foreign BC on the French civil status register. Re register. So we can have the transcription only for the father, for the man who is on the BC, supposed to be the biologic father. It's one and what the Cour de Cassation said in one decision took place the 5th of July of 2017. And it's in a second decision, the Cour de Cassation decided that the intended mother, and it means also the intended father also, must adopt his own child. But this solution is 
in fact, a really nonsense. Uh, it's because why it's a really nonsense? Because it's not based on a um, on a legal level. It's not uh, um, built on a uh, on a legal level. It's built on a moral level. It's very important that you understand uh, that surrogacy make the uh, judge uh, completely uh, foolish, really. When there is surrogacy, they get out the way of the law. And they found many, uh, many, many ways to put uh, blocks uh, in front of the uh, uh, child born through surrogacy. So, uh, I think I, I, will, uh, I will hand in a few minutes. Ju just I would like to say that, um, I could you? Beside, beside the position of the Cour de Cassation, the judge from the law level, not the Cour de Cassation, but uh, the, the Court of First Instance or Court of Appel, start to think that the solution um, uh, shown by the Cour de Cassation is, is a nonsense. So there is two very recently decisions uh, which so show that. Uh, the first dec decision, I want to really to speak about that, it's a decision from the Court of Appeal of Paris. Two men were going to Ontario. They get a child in Ontario, and on the BC, uh, they are both. The two fathers are on the BC. They ask to the, national, to the citizenship, to the French citizenship. The administration refused, and the, the, so we go in front of the judge, and the, the court of appeal, in a decision of May 2019, decide that the birth certificate from Ontario with both father is available to establish the parentage without any transcription. So the court of appeal decide that the child is French because in, in, under the French law you are, you are French if you're one of your parents, only one is French. So there is two French parents, so uh, the, the child is French because the birth certificate show who is your parents. So it's very important that because it means that the judge starts to think differently. And I would like to almost finish with another case. Uh, it's a case from the Court of Appel of Rennes, which the only court who deal with transcription. It is the story of a mother. She was going in Armenia, and she's alone. She's a without men. She uh, gets a child through surrogacy in Armenia. I helped her to come back. It was very difficult, but so she comes back. And after, she asked for transcri support transcription. The prosecutor of Nantes refused. We go in front of the court, and the court of appeal of Rain, in a very recent decision in May 2019, I write it, huh? you can find it in my speech, in my draft. So decide that he uh, decide to trans transcript the birth certificate with only one mother, even she is the intended parent, because there is no bi biologic link. So she is on the birth certificate. The court decide to do it, and it's because the court was annoyed because there is no father in this situation. So the court decide to not see that she know it's a surrogacy. It's incredible. If you understand, if, I, if you understand. So the court accept the, trans, the, the, the transcription because she decide to, to put uh, something on her eyes and say, no, okay, I don't know if it's a, trans, it's, it's a surrogacy, so okay, I can do. So it show us that when the judge no, it's a, no, knows that it's a surrogacy. They put many, um, many obstacles in front of the people. But when they don't know, 
or when they act as they don't know, they accept the birth certificate. I finish with only one point. For, it's on, only on a, an advice for your clients. Uh, what is the best uh, way to do now for French people? I think that the best way to do for French people is uh, to uh, have a decision, a, a, a judgment from the, your, your, okay. The, voilà. the, I would say that the, the, this is the exequatur of the foreign judgment when there is one pa a parentage, a judgment of adoption, pre-birth order, parentage uh, order, because we, in France we can get the exequatur of this decision, of this foreign decision, and with this foreign decision we can get for our clients uh, the French birth certificate. Even it's not necessary to have a French birth certificate. Thank you for uh, your attention. <laughs>